so oh hey it's live hi everybody how's it going my name is Margaret and tonight I have some jewelry bags to un unfurl for you if you will I bought these actually a really long time ago but as you may know I have a stash of I'm pointing in this direction that you can't see in that direction in that corner over there is where I keep my hoard of things jewelry related that I haven't unboxed yet so I thought, let me dig into my jewelry hoard and unbox a little something tonight. I don't know what that was. I, I yeah. Anyway, how are you doing, guys? Um, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Margaret, and tonight, like I just said, and I make videos. All right, I I feel giddy tonight. I don't know. Maybe the weather is the weather's changing. We're getting like a cold front, and we're gonna have rain. And I feel like. I don't know. I feel goofy. So I was like, what better to do than unbox some jewelry? So tell me this. Okay. If you're new here and you're not used to this kind of style and you haven't, I haven't been doing my jewelry unboxings in a while. Do you guys like recreate, <laughs> this is so silly, voices from movies and stuff like that? Um, cause I was just, you, you start saying something and then all of a sudden this like accent comes out and you just run with it. So I was, I was doing that, um, Dr. Pinterschloss from, um, Adam's Family, the movie, you know. So <laughs> it was, I was making myself laugh before I came live. Anyway, um, <laughs> Dr. Pinterschloss. So anyway, I got some, <laughs> we're not starting off so hot, are we? If you're new here, hold on to your umbrella because here we go. All right, so I have got a number of these baggies that I picked up for an insane amount, apparently. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, but I got them when I went out with the green room with like um, Bonafide Hustler and Steve Rakin and when they have the big meetup in July was when this was. And so I got all these back then. I still haven't opened them. And I get comments every time I say how long I've had something and people say, that's a lie. There's no way that you've kept it that long. And that's, I promise you, that's not a lie. I have, I've had them for a while. Let me try to get comfy here. Okay. So, um, apparently for whatever reason, I spent $10 on probably all of these. Um, I don't know why now. So it's a mystery, but at the time it seemed like a good idea. So let's find out why this is, it's like double special. Aha. Uh -huh, I'm here seeing in the chat. Yes, the voices. It is the voices in my head. Church lady, isn't that special? Now I'm trying to recreate Dr. Pindersloss, and it sounds goofy. It, it sounded way better before anybody was listening. I'm bringing him home to you. So, <laughs> oh me, oh ma. It's your brother. Yes. <laughs> so funny. Anyway, let's dive in. Why don't we? I've got a number of them, so we'll see how many we can get through. I mean, some of them look cool. But gosh, did I really? I guess I did spend $10 on them. Well, crossing our fingers that, that, that it wasn't a bad idea. Well, we'll get $10 of enjoyment out of it anyway. So, um, all right. So let me say hey in the chat. Do you guys, what do you feel? Should I pop the chat up here? Is it going to be distracting? I guess if you're watching after the fact and you're like, oh, the chat, you can see it. Usually it's there. Um, but hi, everybody. Thanks for coming. Sitting in the cold soccer practice, Mary says, watching. Oh, I have soccer tomorrow with mine, so it'll, it'll be cold and wet. All right, <laughs> so here we go. Let's do this one. How about that? So I'm trying to figure out why I bought it. I remember going, and I remember it was like cutthroat at the um, at this the jewelry counter. It was at this, oh, I don't know if it was a St. Vincent's or it was some charity type store. Pardon me. I'm trying to get into this thing without ripping it open, but I may have to. I'm ripping it. Um, and there were just like a swarm of people around the jewelry counter. And there was like these guys. And I mistakenly thought they were with our group. And so I was like joking around because the guy had like the whole basket full of these. You know? And I, I made some goofy joke thinking he was with our group. He wasn't. So he didn't look very amused. <laughs> he was just like, who do you think you are? I think it's because I was recording, too. I was, like, recording, like, ooh, what you got over there? So obnoxious, basically. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm unfurling these. I'm putting these bags out, so I've got space to dump. 
I'm, there's bags everywhere. Bags and bags. All right. Don't let me forget. I put them up here. There. Okay. Lily's asking in the chat. Wait, okay, there's more. I'll, I'll come back to the chat too because I see another question. That Put extra question marks so I don't miss anything. And if you have questions, we're going to go with it. And tell me if you want me to put the chat on the screen if you really care. I don't know. All right. Uh, motivated mom. Let's go back to that one. How do you suggest to list jewelry in lots if you only have a few of the names? Jewelry in a lot if you only know a few of the names. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of success doing lots, but I'm guessing if I did, I would do like all of one type. Like I've started sorting some of it over there, like all of fossil jewelry, all of, but it, otherwise I would do like similar style stuff, I guess. I think I'm answering your question. Let me know. And then Lily was asking, how do I decide what to buy on Shop Goodwill? I look for ones that are ending soon, that don't have a lot of bidders on them. And um, because you see the ones that are just like, have had, it shows you like how many bids there have been or how many bidders. And so you know there's a lot of eyeballs on it. I also, it takes time because I also look around for things that are mislabeled, you know, or I'll look for things. Oh, I tried, I'm trying to, I haven't looked in a while, but I'll try to put things on, um, in the search that are kind of vague. <laughs> I don't know. How, I, I guess I should go through. We should have, I think I did this once before, but we should go through. I did. I did. I so did like secrets of shop. Goodwill. I made a video like the, how I search for stuff. Okay, let's do this. All right. So first up, we've got a strand of Probably some kind of freshwatery pearl. I don't want to touch them with my teeth. I know somebody's like, just scrub them together. And they're like, the powder should come off if they're real. Well, it looks like kind of dandruffy stuff coming off. So maybe they're okay. So I'll uh, clean them up and try them the way I know how. However, I mean, they're just like ready for somebody else to use. I'll ask my sister if she wants them. She might. She's been doing more beading I just gave her like a giant bag full of stuff. This is really pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is worth the $10. Look at this. Gorgeous. It's not quite Byzantine, but it kind of makes me think of that. You know, because the Byzantine style is way more opulent. But the colors, the gold and the turquoise, it's definitely vintage with that hook clasp. Oh gosh, it's gorgeous. Where are you? Where are you? Would you fit me? Oh, are we going to do the neck thing? No, don't do it. No, don't do it. You're just going to be upset. Necks are smaller. <laughs> Necks were smaller back in the day. But isn't this beautiful? Okay, so this right here will definitely... Oh, is it missing a stone? <gasps> How could you? I'm almost tempted to list it even though it's missing something. Maybe it'll be in the bag. Look at that. How, How could you? Look how beautiful it is, though. Is it missing two stones? No, it's, that's the same one. Okay. <sighs> Tell me what you would do. That's such a bummer because isn't it gorgeous? I, I seriously would probably just list it anyway and mention it's missing one. Still, because it's that pretty. Okay, let me see. Um, oh, I just started, Debbie. I've only showed two things. You're good. We just started. And I have some great name costume jewelry earrings or singles. Is there a market for them? I don't know. Is Debbie here? Debbie's here. Debbie, don't you sell um, single lot earrings? I never have. I keep thinking about it, but then I didn't do it. Um, also, what's the rule about mystery boxes? I have so much I need to get on my desk. Yeah, I I don't sell as many mystery boxes as, as I used to. And I also started selling just the smaller size because what would happen when I was selling mystery boxes, and I would start selling the large or the extra large sized ones, um, I would start stressing out that I wasn't putting enough good stuff in it. And so I would spend like 30 minutes digging through my stash. Even though I already had stuff set aside, I would start like thinking, I need to put more good stuff. I need to put more good stuff. And, um, and so, yeah, I would spend a long time like agonizing over like putting 30 pieces of jewelry in a box. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. So here we've got just some kind of glass beads. I don't think they're plastic. They might be plastic. No, they're cold. I need their glass. Okay. Ooh. Um, hang on. I'm, 
Oh, can I? Oh, that's a good idea. But then it would be even smaller. Let me see if I can do it. Are they soldered? I don't know if they're soldered or not. So Tracy was saying, can I remove that? Just that one. You know what I could do? If I'm able, if they're not soldered, I could make it into a bracelet. Because then I could totally wear it. Right? Okay, so I'm going to look into that. That's a good idea. I can't tell if they're soldered. I don't think they are. Okay, ooh, I like it. Because then I can make a bracelet or two. All right, let's see what we've got next here. What are we doing? We're tangling, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay, so beautiful. There's De Okay, Debbie says about the single. I usually sell in lots of six mixed singles. Ooh. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a giant lot. I'm trying to detangle this for you guys. Breathe in. Breathe out. No. They look like pansies. Maybe. Okay, I'm going to just show you and I'll detangle it later. So what we've got here is a vintage necklace. It's got this cool box clasp. And once it detangles, it has these three, I'm guessing they're going to be kind of floating pendants. Why do you have to be tangled? But they're really pretty. They've got these little, what do you think? They're pansies? They kind of look like pansies. This one's missing looks like a the centerpiece. But maybe it won't be that big of a deal. So there's that. It's got the little flowers. Okay, so that's cool. So far that necklace is the coolest so far. Next up we've got this glass ring. It's on it's on a um words adjustable band. <laughs> it's on this adjustable band. Um, but I don't think that's going to matter because I've sold adjustable rings before. It's not amazing, but somebody will probably like it. It's really abstract. Somebody's going to like the abstractness of it and the yellow and black and all that. <laughs> oh, it matches my nail polish. Yes. Don't get me started. <laughs> I went to a different salon, a nail salon. Oh, my gosh. If you got a good one, don't switch. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. Um, so then there's this one. This is kind of the style, the Kendra Scott style. It's not a Kendra Scott, but I think it'll still sell probably about, I would say probably at least $10 because someone's going to like the green. It's in good shape. There's no name on it, but that's okay. And no, I can't say Kendra Scott style. So there's that. Um, then... Hey, I've got 66 friends watching. You know what I didn't do? I didn't share this out. So if you would like to, if you're feeling generous, go over and share it. Um, I'm, I have a group called Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers. Jewelry? Jewelry. Jewelry. And, okay, what are we working with here? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. You know, it's the fabric-y stuff, that, that dirty, like, fabric that just gets me can't and I, I thought well maybe these are going to be ivory or bone but they're not they're like plastic I think whoa it might be mixed okay I'm gonna have to look closer so look at this okay I don't like this dirty fabric feel because I feel like I'm touching grody sweat okay then so these ones are definitely plastic let's take a look at these ones the the, the big one where is it? I can't. This one here, how it's kind of porous. That one might be bone. I'm going to get my loop and look. It looks like it's a mixed bunch. Because here's the thing. These ones are kind of cold as far as that. Hello! You're here! I'm glad. Hello, everybody. All right, I'm looking in closer at some of the smaller beads just to see what I see. I did a separate video. Oh, I see a seam. So, no, there's no seams. There's no seams in ivory and uh, bone and stuff. But these are cool. Those beads are cool. Um, but yeah, I did a video if you're like, oh, I don't know how to identify ivory. I did a video for that too. Okay. And that'll probably just end up in a lot because I, well, with that fabric, gross. All right, this is a kind of a cool necklace. However, I feel like I'm seeing more and more of this kind of style with a bird cage. There's a little bird. And then up here, there's a key. Like, tough luck, bird. Well, you're already out. Never mind. Okay. Did y'all hear that? Yeah, I bet you did. <laughs> that 
That was a weather notification. You probably get those too. Okay, so <laughs> this one has a $10 mark on it, so I, I might just list it for 10 bucks and take that off. Okay, what else have we got in here? We've got this stretchy bracelet. The stretch is... It's, meh. No, the stretch is not good on it. Uh, I mean, I know people could restring it, but I'm not going to. It'll probably just go in a lot for somebody who likes that kind of thing. Wow, I'm really bummed out. I mean, I'll make my money back, I guess. But hang on, there's solo stuff I'm sticking up here. I've got somebody's crocheted earrings. I'm sure when they made them, they were like, this is going to be the most amazing thing ever. I'm going to sell it on Etsy and make a million dollars. No, ma'am. Try again. Okay. <laughs> then we've got one of these type of stretchy bracelets. Wow, what was I thinking? I Because my rule for myself is usually I need to see something in the bag. I mean, I'll make my money back, I guess. It was 10 bucks. Oh, I don't know. Okay, this looks like... Hang on, it fell. <laughs> hey, Jamie. I saw her earlier. At the bins. <laughs> All right, so here we've got, I, at first I thought it was, <clears throat> pardon me, a lady, but it looks like she's got a goatee, so I'm not so sure. And it's not quite Caesar. <clears throat> pardon me. Okay, so, I don't know. There's this Wounded Warrior Project pin, and that is it for the first bag. There are a few, goodness gracious, <clears throat> something is definitely blowing in. There's a few random bits. I might break even on this one, but maybe. And then a solo clip-on and another solo earring. Now this is cool. If, look, it looks like a brick. It's a brick. Cuff link. I can't make that work. Um, if, maybe the mate for this will be in one of these other bags. Then we'll be talking. Okay. I don't know what I was thinking. I must have been like caught up in the moment. You ever have that happen? Because you're around all these other resellers and people are buying cool stuff. And I don't know. You want to buy cool stuff too. I don't know. I guess I let my emotions get away with me. That's okay. It happens, right? It's for real. Here's another one. Let's dive in. Look, but they made it cute, look cute with this cute string on it. Okay, here we go. But this is fun anyway. Let me open it right in the mic so you get the big, loud, crinkly sounds. Um, oh, this is cool. All right. So this is a pendant that was probably on a necklace. It's got this cool tassel. These cool, like, what would you say? Like dogwoods, maybe. They're just sparklies. And then this cool, um, it's not a... Not exactly like a frog. You know what I'm talking about with Asian clasps for their buttons. They call them frogs. But it's that kind of style. So, hmm, what am I going to do with you? My phone went buzz again. Rain. Okay, it's going to rain. Enough. We know. Um, I think, because my, as I've been telling you, my sister's been making all kinds of cool stuff. I bet, I think this would look really cool on something she's going to make. I feel it. I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my toes. Christmas is all around you. No. Not yet. Okay, so next up. This is cool. It's a big, like, faux pearl. If you can name that movie, you get a gold star in the chat today. <laughs> oh, yeah, it kind of has that Celtic look, too. That Celtic knot style. Yes, that Dan. Um, all right, so here's this one. Very cool. And it is marked. Oh, look at that verdigris. Ooh, that's no good. That's no good. Okay, I'm going to come back to the chat in a second. Uh, what we, it'll be easier if I just look at it and tell you. <laughs> I'm trying to show it to you. Napier. Okay, so this is a Napier. I'm going to have to clean that verdigris off. Or quarantine it forever. But it's so pretty. I think if I cleaned it up, but that would definitely sell. Because there are people that, that like their Napier stuff a lot. <laughs> no, I know. No Christmas yet. I was just thinking of that movie. Um, 
Love Actually was the movie. That timer that was going off. Mm. Okay. All right, we've got some closing a and a dirty tassel. So, as you may not know about me, I don't like tassels, especially dirty tassels. And they always seem to be dirty. And, you know, this whole thing, you know. Anyway, dirty tassels. Um, so, what am I going to do? Because it's got this fabric cord that's just not in great shape either. It's kind of frayed and fuzzied. And, but I like the cloisonne piece. So... My sister's going to get a lot of cool stuff because <laughs> I feel like she could take this off and put it on something really cool. Oh my gosh. I should just call this jewelry for Elaine <laughs> video. <laughs> okay, next up, this is, I can't decide if it's cool or horrible. You tell me what you think. It's some shells that have been strung together poorly and it's stretchy um i i don't think i will sell it i appreciate the coolness of these <laughs> oh i don't even know gosh i what was i thinking maybe i should have done a thread up box instead <laughs> um dirty tassel sounds like a dancer's name if i didn't already have my stripper name picked out i, I would pick dirty tassels um, but <laughs> let's <laughs> quiz time. Anybody remember what I say? My, when I, my sister and I have a, a plan for when we retire, if you're wondering, if you're like, what is she talking about? My sister and I have decided that, you know, once, once we're retired, we're going to need to like supplement our income. And so we're going to like become geriatric strippers. And <laughs> we came up with stripper names. But my sister, like, does not want me to have the name that I want. So, uh, I'm pulling stuff out as we talk so I can have it. And anyway, I was just seeing if anybody remembered. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Ooh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Love, actually, yes. And we actually we have a love. So... <laughs> I'm waiting to see if anybody says it before I tell it. Um, <laughs> so there's this. I don't know what this is, honestly, because it's too small to be. Is it like is it like a wine bottle decoration? Um, no. It, the The name I chose it, that that Elaine has absolutely poo pooed for me to have is sprinkles because I'm, I have a feeling. I, I, what? It's not a feeling. I have had kids, and so I already know that I can't jump on a trampoline. I don't think I'm going to be able to be a geriatric stripper without some sprinkles, right? So, I thought, sprinkles. And Elaine said, absolutely not. I think we actually talked about it on camera one night when we, were, when we did a video together. So, yeah. I forget what she said hers was going to be. Anyway, I'm not exactly sure... Um, what this is, I, I mean, is it a, it's too, is it an anklet? What, what, is it like one of these arm bracelets? It's not curved though. What is this? Anybody? Bueller? Come on. What do we got going on here? Okay. <laughs> Sounds like a clown thing. <laughs> Sprinkles. This is true. Maybe we can merge the two and I could be a geriatric clown stripper called sprinkles now that if that isn't a sight that people would come from miles around to see i don't know what is Le cindy says elaine is comic genius elaine is comic genius she's so funny and she doesn't think she's funny i keep telling her when are you gonna get this youtube channel up off the ground girl mm -mm. maybe it's to hook onto the <laughs> belt maybe that thing is weird it's so tiny and it's not for a dog. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we've got some... A, a flat chain necklace that wants to pretend like it's silver, but it's not. Okay, you know what? 
I haven't checked in the chat for a second. Let me go see if there's any, um, any questions that I missed. There are. Okay. So, um, Bailey was asking, they sell jewelry at the bins too. I've, I have seen some, I actually got a little bowl of jewelry that my uh, son found when we were there the other day and I brought, I got, I ended up getting it. It was horrible. I should have not just bought it at all. Um, and Bailey says, in one of your videos, do you talk about which jewelry pieces can go in a bubble mailer and which go in a small box? Um, basically, just anything that, if it's like this, I could put it in a bubble mailer. If it was something that would have like a bead that would fall off, I don't. So basically, if it's something that won't have something fall off. Technical terms, right? Okay. Jewelry jars, if you find them way overpriced. Yeah. I think, I may I wonder if these were shipped in <laughs> from your area. Because so far... <laughs> Um, Christina says, I go to auctions and do flats of random jewelry. Ooh, that sounds fun. I need to go to one of those. Oh my gosh, I have so much stuff around here. Okay, now we're talking about, I'm looking back. Buying jewelry, oh good, good. And give it to my sister, yep. Scroll, 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 scroll. They do have that retired Christopher's. Um, okay. Wine bottle charm. That's what I think, too. I think it's a wine bottle charm, this one. I can't think of what else it might go on. A teddy bear buckle, right? There we go. Um, Rear view mirror necklace. That's true. Maybe. Yeah. I have an aunt named Pearl Sprinkle. Perky girl says. <laughs> um, oh, gosh. Do I want to know? <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> Sprinkles now. <laughs> All right, so next up, okay, sorry, I had to go check the chat. Got to do it, y'all. Got to do it. These are some earrings, and they are both here. They are alive and well. I'm tempted to clean them and wear them. Could you imagine? I don't know. I mean, this is somebody's style. They hit my, I'm afraid, look, look, because they're so big, they hit my shoulders, and if I wear them, well, one, that's going to happen. Two, it's going to like push my earlobe up because it's like bumping in my shoulder. And my earlobe's going to go, you know, and weird <laughs> like that, right? All right. That would be, that would be awkward. Now I want to try it just for fun. I wonder what, would, I wonder if any of my homeschool mom friends would say anything if I just showed up that like soccer tomorrow with this. I mean, it's Halloween, so they probably wouldn't. And it's me, so they probably wouldn't double. So, um, not gonna. Um, do I sell on e uh, Flippin' Particles? I sell on eBay and I sell on Etsy. Okay, so next up, there are two of these. They, they almost look like they would be um, rosary beads, but they're not. And they're not connected, and they don't have a hook, and they're just like beads like that. This is just garbage, y'all. Just nothing. There's that. There's this. That's it. There. Okay. There's some clip-ons, but they're pretty... No, they're not clip-ons. They are pierced, but they're horrible, and they're messy and dirty and gross. What on earth? Okay, here's cool. So this one is cool, and I'm holding out hope that there's a mate, because that one is awesome. Right there. I like that a lot. So, please, hope your mate is in there. We're going to find it. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Big earrings for really long necklaces. Okay, which way should I go? Let's go over here. All right, next up, we've got this one. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm digging in. Looking at the chat. Okay, go over there and hit the thumbs up, you guys. I have a night off. And I'm spending it with you. Too bad. <laughs> I've been watching Westworld lately. Have y'all watched that? I, I don't like to watch things when they first come out. This is bad of me. Not bad, but... Because then I get invested in it. And then I get really upset when I have to wait. So... Hang on, this is really tangled up in here. So I've, I've been watching Westworld. It's interesting. And brutal. 
why I can watch this, Westworld, I can watch Game of Thrones, but I cannot watch Walking Dead. I, I couldn't get through the first episode of Walking Dead. That's cool. Okay, so we may have something that's... So, so far we're $20 in. We might have a couple things that it will sell. Okay, I know it's horrible, right, Julian? $10 each. But these earrings are going to make up some. I just know it. I feel it. Ready, set, go. Look at these earrings. These are awesome. They feel like they hurt. Because they do. The pokey parts are very pokey. But they're big clip-ons. Aren't they fun, though? But gosh, those are going to, like, stab somebody's face. Things I won't be putting in my description. P.S. These are going to stab the dickens out of your face when you're wearing them. Be prepared. You might want to, like, put some little erasers or something on the edges. But aren't they cool? Okay. So these ones I'll probably sell. They're clip-ons, so that kind of affects things. However, look how fun that would be. Oh, my gosh. Oh, now I'm a fairy. Oh, my gosh. Now she's a fairy. You could even wear them as a barrette. Oh, gosh. Okay, there we go. What do we think? Better? Better? No? My hair got caught in that one. You could. Have we tried this? Have we tried wearing clip-ons as barrettes yet? Maybe this is the next thing. Oh, okay. Here we go. Aren't they awesome? Okay, clip, boop, now, now we're talking. Oh, okay, forget it. We need to sell these as clip-ons. We're just gonna start a new thing and start wearing, this is really bad. We're gonna start wearing clip-ons as, as hair barrettes or as upper ear, whatever you call this part when people get it pierced up here, upper ear clamps, there. Cause then you can look like a fairy. And nobody will tell you that you look like a weirdo. Nobody. There we go. Okay. Huh? It's a new thing. It's fetch. <laughs> it's so fetch. <laughs> yeah, we're going there. We're going there. Okay. Wearing clip-ons as barrettes or upper ear clamps is very fetch. <laughs> Okay, so that's a solo earring. We'll put that over here. Um, I'm waiting for somebody to say something in the chat <laughs> about what I said. All right, so this is a really long necklace that... <laughs> Very cheap. Haven't y'all seen Mean Girls? I'm waiting for somebody to say, stop trying to make fetch a thing, Gretchen. <laughs> right? Okay, there's this one. It's pretty cool. I like the multi-strand chain on it. I'll probably try to sell that. That would go for like 10 bucks, I think. <laughs> so like or something. <laughs> oh no, no sad rains today. Okay, those can go in here now that it pulled and yanked my hair. <laughs> All right, we've got a Mahjong tile. Let's see if this Mahjong tile is ivory because sometimes they are sometimes <laughs> it's from there's a movie called mean girls yeah this is ivory um there's a, a movie called mean girls and in, in the movie this chick she's one of the mean girls and she's like trying to get the word fetch to take off because she's like trying to start a new thing she's like oh i love that bracelet it's so fetch and then one of the other mean girls is like regina she's like oh, stop trying to make fetch a thing gretchen Anyway, it's a hinge. It's a hinge. Are you talking about this? It has a hinge, this one? It slides in there. There's like a sl it's like a thing that slides in, right? It looks like it slid in there. Uh, I don't know if it slides out. It would be cool if it had like a secret compartment. Um, hmm, no. Okay, but... Hang on, I thought I saw some lines on here. I can't get it in the right in the light. When I look at the angles, I can see some some lines. However, my lighting is not amazing right now. So, uh, oh yeah, it's a mahjong tile. It's just a mahjong tile, wood back, looks like ivory front. 
So there's that. Okay, then we've got another one of these. Cool. That means I can list that and say quantity two. Got some funky beads. Oh, brother. You guys, I need somebody there with me to say, no, Margaret, don't buy that. What were you thinking? There was nobody there. It was all enablers. All thrifting enablers. Congratulations, Heather says she won at Mahjong today. If I missed something in the comments or in the chat, let me know. Because I feel like it goes by quick and I miss people saying stuff. Okay, so here we have a money clip. I like to sell money clips. I, I They sell really fast for me. It's got some marks on it. It might not matter. I'll clean it up, see if those little spots will come off. But yeah, money clips sell pretty quickly for me. So I don't know how much I'll put on this. But it'll probably pay for the bag. Probably 15 or so dollars. <laughs> Trace said, nope, I'm an enabler. All right, at least you're honest. <laughs> okay, then we've got this necklace. At first I thought it was one of those that has like the satin threads, but it's not. Those are beaded that way. Something is itching me. And it's on, so that's the way the beads are. Isn't that cool? Let's see if we've got a maker's mark here. Nope. Nope. Open this up. Uh, no maker's mark. Yeah, I'll probably try to sell that. There's that. That's pretty cool. Hmm. I was hoping there'd be a maker's mark on it, but I'll, I, and it's pretty heavy, so I'll probably be able to ask 15 or 20 for that. I think. I'll have to do a little digging and find out more. We've got some, looks like, plastic bead necklace in, what color would you say this is? Toffee? Caramel? It doesn't look good on my skin. Maybe somebody with different skin color would look good with this. It doesn't look quite right on me. Oh well. Somebody will like it. Aha, we've got another one. We are lousy with these now. Okay. So, uh oh, you're all for the craft jar ideas. I must have missed something. Mahjong. Keeps a blah blah blah. Looking, looking. Uh, okay, so there's this, which would have been super cool, but it's missing a centerpiece. It's got a really cool Art Deco look, but it doesn't matter. Oh, yes, now we're talking. We haven't put anything on the head in a while. Oh, huh, that's actually not too bad. Okay, but now I need, like, a priestess, a Byzantine priestess name. Okay. Nope. I hear thunder. Ooh, I see money. Ha ha. I've got a pound. Right there. In your face. All right. That's making some of my money back. What's the pound worth now? <laughs> These days. Is it like a buck? A buck fifty? Somewhere in there? All right. I've got a pound. Put that over there. Why was that in there? <laughs> I wonder. Then there's this, a solo earring that, again, it's missing. I would have totally brought these earrings. Um... Yeah, if the stones had been there on this one, that I would have I would have kept those. I like that. Oh gosh, what was I thinking? This is horrible. There's the mate for that other earring though. We had one of those. Uh, you're waiting for me to make a new fashion. <laughs> oh, that would be fun, right? Okay, so there's a cool it looks like a citrine. Only it's, you know, not really. It's probably just a I don't know. And then we've got some clip-on earrings there okay now how many bags have we done two three three oh gosh I'm trying to see which one I should go for next how long have we been at this how long have I been torturing y'all that can't be right is it it hasn't been an hour and 31 y'all how long have I been on here it can't have been that long I'm super confused. Okay, let me know because my thing is saying it's been an hour. No, no, there it is. Okay, 41 minutes. Oh, gosh. Okay, so what I'll probably do is I'll do one more. Please be a good one. And then I'll save these others. So I've done four, and I'll save the other four for later. 
How about that? Won't that be, that'll be fun. Yes. There are four and four more. That means I spent $10 each on eight of them. All for you. Here, I'll put it on you. I'm going to put it on you. I bought eight. What was I thinking? <laughs> what was I thinking? I was thinking, won't these be fun to unbox? <laughs> this is pretty. Oh, this will sell. Okay, come on. Please don't be broken on the other end. Please, please. I, I happily did it, though. Happily. Jason is on. Well, tell Jason to wait. Send him a message and said, Margaret says you must wait. And if you need to say, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. He can, he'll go. He's not going to wait for me. Yeah, if y'all have to leave to watch Jason, that's cool. Okay, so here's a cool piece. I'm trying to see if you can see through. It's got these cool crackly. But if you want, if you want, totally ribbon. It's like, Margaret, we should do that. Can I do it live? Wait, I'm live. I'll be done in a minute, Jason. <laughs> Does he have a chat app? Do y'all watch Jason? Let me go see. I'm going to do it. Because why not? We're hanging out. Hanging out with friends. Let's go rib somebody. If you're watching this and you're like, I just came for jewelry, not to see you harass Jason. You just, yeah. No, I don't have an update that he's going live. Oh, well, send me a link. <laughs> uh, here we go. Let me type in his name. Jason T. Smith. But what if people are waiting for him and they don't know me and they're like, who is this woman that thinks she's telling Jason to wait? Set reminder. Is that today? There it is. I found it. Pardon me. Okay, here. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. Okay, let me open this up with another tab so you can watch me do it. Okay, can y'all see it? There's his chat. <laughs> There's his live chat. All right, J now Jason, I understand you're going live soon, but I'm still live. Hi, Jason. Hey, you go. Can y'all see it? Hi, Jason. I understand you are going live soon, but I'm still live. <laughs> Won't you wait? <laughs> and then I'll just say, kitten. There we go. I'll see if they, I'll flip it back over if they mention anything. Is he here? He's not here, is he? Okay. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just playing with him. <laughs> Angela's like, LOL. Uh, okay, here, flip it back. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> okay. So, here we go. It's crackly. Or, Ori's asking, is it, is it crackly naturally on that gym? I don't. Let me get my flashlight. So, who's Jason? <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't tell him that. Oh, it's going to blind you. It looks like that. Isn't it cool? So when the light shines through it, there's kind of like an orangey swirl. And it's kind of crackly like that. Isn't that cool? Um, everybody knows Jason. Okay, so then, okay, there's that. I think that'll sell. That's pretty awesome. It does have some wear along this part on the edge. Can you see that? But I think it's still maybe cool enough. Maybe somebody will want it. Um, <laughs> yeah, he'll, he'll be fine. And if he's not, he'll be fine. <laughs> okay, so then, or not, and then, look, this is so cool except for this. I like all of these cool beads and the glass and all that fun stuff, except... For the dirty tassel. Can I just take that dirty tassel off? Oh, it's hideous. Oh, ugh, hideous horrible. I'm trying to get hideous and horrible into one word. Hideous horrible. That just sounds cute. <laughs> but this isn't cute. So that's got to go. But all these really colorful beads are fun. I like it. Okay. Pink cells. Oh, cool. Uh, Thelma's saying pink cells. Yay. Okay, I'm pulling out something else that's big. Hopefully... All the stones are there, crossing my fingers. Come on, man. It's t or something else is really tangled up in it. 
Here we go. Uh, tangles. But it's big. It'll be worth it. Let's see. Oh, cool. Let's see. Martha says, I have the same pendant in silver tone and lace agate. Very cool. Thelma's saying tassels are... I know they are. People love the tassels. However, when I find them in my jars, they're all dirty and gross. I know that I could probably clean them. Or I could just complain about dirty tassels. Oh, gosh. It's, it's really tangled up with this other chain. But I want to show it to you. Oh, where are you going? Well, I'm just going to show it to you with this other chain hooked onto it. How about that? Let's do this. Can you all hear that thunder? Oh, my gosh. Jason said, hey. Is that it? Hey, Margaret. Hey, ah, he's starting. Shh. No, I, was, I don't want to really listen to you. <laughs> hey, Margaret. Okay, so this is this one. Isn't it cool? I'll try to ignore the chain that's still... So there's this. The only thing is, like, right there, it's kind of broken. But that's in the back. Maybe it wouldn't matter that much. Look at that. Isn't it a bit... Why won't this fit me? Maybe it's missing more than just that. No? Okay. Anyway, pretty cool. It doesn't look like it's missing any stones. Oh, it's so annoying that that thing is hooked on there. I'm not sure if I could solder that. I wonder if I could just solder that on. It looks like it was glued once before, though. Like that. Otherwise, it's really cool. Sorry about that, y'all. Um, spritz the tassel with fantastic. I take, that's a cleaning product, right? Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Anyway, cool. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> very clanky bill. Um, okay. Let me come back over here and see where we are. There we go. Okay. Then, next up, we oh, these look like they might be kind of like Austrian crystals. Not the green ones. We'll come back to you, green ones. These ones, they are very pretty. They've got that kind of aurora borealis on them, but not quite. So, they look like they might be kind of Austrian crystals, vintage. Tell me what you think. Oh, so pretty. They're so sparkly. So, this will sell. I'll have to... Oh, it's missing a strand. What do you think about that? It Will it sell with two? With one missing off of the end piece? Isn't it pretty, though? They're so nice. Darn it. Um, bye! <laughs> Fine. Be that way. No, I'm kidding. I don't mind. Oh, this is cool, too. Okay, then... Oh, wait. i got to look at this for a second. So this is a UT cufflink. There's a mark down here. Hang on. ENG Co. Sterling. So if the mate for that's in there, that's another. That'll be a good seller. UT Cufflink. Are you in here? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to keep digging. It could be one of these other bags. Oh, there's another Cufflink. JJM. Hmm... Who do we know that has the initials JJM? This looks like silver to you. So, that looks like it's silver. Hi, Pancake. You coming up? Then we've got this, which is cool. Look at that. Cool cross. It says on the back. And uh, something guild. Are you wanting to come up here? Here, come on, Pancake. Hang on. Come on. Thank you, Pancake. All right, this one. Hang on. Give me a second. 1969 Israel. So that's pretty cool. I can't really read what that says. Tara. I don't know. I'll have to. Uh, and there's a name for this kind of cross, too. I'm sure somebody knows. I can't think of the name of it. But it has a specific name. Hang on. Pancake's going to say hi. Mmm, here's Pancake. Now he's like, why did you do this? Oh, go get it, Pancake. Anyway, all right. Back to the hall, right? So there's that. 
and da, 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 da. let's see Julie says when I find them missing a strand I just junk box them oh darn yeah so this looks like a silver chain this one it's kind of got this really cool like spiral to it that looks like it's probably silver I can't see a mark on it though but the chain looks like it probably is then there's another chain hooked there that's just gonna probably go to my sister hang on I'm trying to see what that is it looks like there's something etched on that I can't make out what it is looks like a cow it looks like a cow it does look like a cow I'm not imagining things you see it right there hmm interesting okay <laughs> those glass bees up front of my sister <laughs> Jerusalem cross thank you now this is pretty I love the green oh my gosh what are you who are you where where have you been all my life oh you are pretty okay this is a pretty necklace I'm trying to untangle it for real fast oh my gosh look at this green and then here are the in-between pieces with these cool green gold beads or glass beads I should say look at this it's so long though I don't wear really long stuff but I'm tempted to keep this because it's really pretty green Looks like there was a mark on the clasp. Which one, Debbie? What did I miss? Which one? All right, Pancake, jump down because I'm just going to pet you. Okay. Pancake is a sweet kitty. He's gotten kind of nibbly lately. Where he, If you're not petting him right away, he'll take a chomp on you. Not a mean one, but we got another one of these. Okay. Um, What do I do with the chains that have no... Um, like a charm or anything on them. I save them. I do. Because sometimes I'll find a cool pendant that's not silver that I still think like, oh, somebody will buy this. And then I'll put it on a chain that I've saved up. Or this, um, this Christmas, if you saw the last Goodwill, Shop Goodwill jewelry box that I got, there were three scarab pendants in there. And, um... Good question. There were three scarab pendants in there, and, and I'm going to give one to each of the kids this Christmas. So I'm going to grab a chain for each of them. Can I double it up? I have a huge head. Nope. Nope. I do. I have a big head. It's true. Wow, we've got a lot of these. I love it. Because you know what? That means I just make one listing, quantity, all of them. So far, I think we've got four or five of them. Then we've got this leaf. I don't go into a craft lot. The chain you suggested was silver. It looked like it had a mark. Oh, okay. Let me come back to it. Here we go. Uh. Oh, yes. Thank you, Thelma. Thumbs up, everybody. How's school going, by the way, Thelma? I, have, I haven't talked to any. Things have been so crazy, you guys. I can. Oh, it says 18K gold plated. 18K GP. That's on that side. If you guys don't know, I homeschool my kids. I homeschool my kids, and I try to run a business, and run my kids all over creation, and one of my kids has started competitive shooting, so that's fun. We had a competition last weekend, competitive shooting competition, and so before that, we were spending like two nights a week at least at the range for three hours, so three hours twice a week with rifles but the next one is going to be rifles and rifles and pistols so we've got to really get up there and practice more oh well stems the brakes that's what we're doing shooting okay so here's the mate for that other jjm right there and this one let's see what it says mexico 925 on there I need somebody with JJM initials to buy those. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Are you... I don't know if I should tell because I don't know if you how much you share with your with your people. Okay, good. I'm glad that you're having... Um, this one is missing. This is a... 
I hope it wasn't the UT one because I really want the UT one. And this one's cool. I think I have a pair of these up, kind of like this, but bigger. All right, and then there's a little bird, kind of carved. Okay, so that's that. If nothing else, I made a dollar. So I got a cool pound out of it, which I'll probably give one of the kids because they have many, many collections. Oh, sweet, Cindy says, I shot competitive archery during junior high and high school. Yeah, um, <clears throat> my kid just started doing this and is really, really enjoying it. And one of the kids, <clears throat> from, excuse me, one of the kids that was in this group before got a full ride scholarship at Texas A&M to shoot for their core, cadet corps marksmanship team. Um, so it's a really great group of coaches and a, I mean, it's just, yeah. Um, so yeah, and, and they're, my kid's really, really excited about it. So our, Jillian says, are you controlled homeschooling? It's not, it depends on the state. And in Texas, it's really relaxed. Um, of course I, being me and being an ex-teacher, cause I taught for 14 years, 13 years, 14 years. I can't even remember. Um, I do a lot, but we don't have to report to the state or anything like that. Keeping that up, hopefully, because some states, it's like you have to get approval. And I have a homeschool channel if you want to check it out. Their link is, if you go to my main, it's called Homeschool Honey. And I've just got it. It just got monetized. So my kids are excited because I told them whatever videos they make, they can put over there. And then if they get, if they make money off them, they can have money. So. It's an old number one, not circulate one dollar one pound is not circulation anymore, is it not? Okay, cool. So cool, not in circulation anymore. Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> I want to flip it and catch it and look cool, but I know it's just gonna flip and like go all who knows where. Anyway, um Yeah, so it did okay. And I like this necklace, so that's a bonus. And I got a pound out of it. Double bonus. And I got to hang out with y'all. So that's awesome too. I wonder if I could wear this. Can y'all hear that? Thunder? Oh, we haven't had a day like this in forever. Oh, I'm so glad. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'm going to leave these other ones sitting here. Because I've got more. I've got four more for you. But I'm also editing a video as we, not as we speak, but I was editing it earlier about oh, this got a cool thing in it. That looks cool. Whatever that silver thing is. Um, you know when you go to the thrift store and you've got like the wall of bags that I love them, right? Because it's like a treasure hunt, like a jewelry bag almost. Only it's got all kinds of other stuff. Ooh, there's some Aurora Borealis in that one. Hello, ladies. Um, okay, we'll do you later. Hi, Daniel. You want to come say hi too? Come here. Come here, Dandian. Come on. You can, you can see Daniel. Y'all haven't seen him in a while. There's Daniel. He looks like Pancake, only he's not as fluffy. This is Daniel, and he's so snuggly. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, so I'm editing that video with the bag wall of stuff. Daniel, why do you smell weird? I don't even know. Get over there. Why do you, you smell funky? I don't Ugh, smelly cat. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys had a great evening, and I will talk to you um, on the next one. So it'll either be me back with this tomorrow, or if I've got the other one edited, then I will do that as well. And also go over and follow us on Homeschool Honey, because why not if you're interested? And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, everybody. Oh, wait. <laughs>